A very warm welcome to Tech Mining. After creating groups, you add users to them, you input a user ID for each new user, but when you call up an existing user's record for modification, this value is displayed as read-only text. You also allocate a default company to each new user to work in. This allocation is helpful in restricting a user to handling the accounts of a specific company. Besides their usual credentials, the GL underscore users table will store company, year, and month information for each user. This information will be displayed through the global page on every application page so that users will know where their transactions are going to be saved. Create two pages. Select the form option followed by report with form, to create report and form pages. After creation, modify both these pages to set the attributes as demonstrated. Source code is provided in description of this video, open part 8 folder, copy and paste code from SQL query 8.1.txt file. The default query in the source SQL query is replaced with a custom join query, which fetches users' records from multiple tables. Create and modify the existing page items on form page 23. The first item, display only, is added, between two existing items, user ID and group ID, to show the ID of the selected user as read-only text. The condition for this item is set so that it will display only when you call a record of an existing user for modification. The opposite condition is set for the item P23 underscore user ID to make it visible only for new records.
copy and paste code from SQL query 8.2.txt file. Create a process to set company, year, and month. This process will be executed when either the Create or the Apply Changes buttons are clicked on Form Page 23. The process is added to fill in values for the company, year, and month columns based on the default company that is selected for a user. Copy and paste PLSQL code from company year month.txt file. Create this process under the processes node and place it just after the first process named process row of GL underscore users. If you place it in the last position, it won't execute because of the preceding close dialog process, which will execute before this process and will close the page. Save your work and run the module from the Setup Users menu. Click the Create button. Enter Super in User ID, set Group to Admins, select Yes for Administrator, set Default Company to ABC and Company, and click Create. Note that the password column of the new user will be blank at this stage. Setting user passwords is discussed in the next video. Create two more users, belonging to different groups. You will notice on the report page 22 that the user ID field is hidden. To display it, execute the following steps.
When you call a user account in the form page 23, you will notice that the user ID field is blank. To display the user ID you need to forward this value from the report page. The users you created in this video are the holy souls who can access your application. In the next video, you will create a form to set and reset these users' passwords. Thank you for watching the video.